Hi, my name is Danielle Ramos. I am the former STEM Academy coordinator, currently Plymouth High School's assistant principal. Hi, I'm Mark Bondi. I'm the district's K-12 coordinator of STEM and career and technical education currently. And we are here to discuss um, the aspects of STEM Academy and all the highlights that go along with it over the past five years. Within our STEM program, there are two current pathways. We are working on a third one. But there are two current pathways. One is biomedicine, the other is engineering. Within the biomedical pathway, there are four classes that students can take, starting with their ninth grade year with principles of biomedical science, heading off to their 10th grade year, human body systems, then into 11th grade, medical interventions, and then to top it off, their capstone class called biomedical innovations. That pathway is very similar to the engineering pathway in which the students are going to follow a similar course. In ninth grade, the engineering students will take Introduction to Engineering Design. In 10th grade, they will take Principles of Engineering. In 11th, they have a choice of Computer Integrated Manufacturing or Biotechnical Engineering. And in 12th grade, they will have their capstone course. Each of these classes um, are partnered very well with the community. And so in that 12th grade, when we talk about the capstone, that is where we will bring in community members and they really assist the students in making sure that capstone project is meaningful and what they have learned within that course they can apply outside of school. A typical student coming in into ninth grade into the STEM Academy will have six courses. Out of those six courses, three of the courses will have, one will be a STEM course, whether it's in biomedical or engineering, and the other two courses will have a STEM twist. So the social studies class and the English class has a STEM twist to it. So all of those students that are within STEM will be together in three out of their six courses. Um, one thing that we're working on this year is opening up a computer science pathway. We're piloting it this year and we're hoping that one day that will be our third pathway within the academy. Some of the highlights that I'd like to discuss about STEM are first, we have a STEM council. Our STEM council is made up of, I'd say, 30 or so students within the program. And those students meet together in order to, they look at things such as fundraising, they will help coordinate the STEM days that we host um, throughout the community. Um, they will help with the STEM CTE career fair. It's just a good way to get the STEM students' voices heard. Um, with a group after school and they work with the teachers, they'll work with Mark as well, um, to discuss future opportunities um, that they can bring to the table. Another highlight is our partnership team, which I had discussed earlier with regards to the capstone. We have a pretty strong partnership team with about a hundred members on it. Those partners come from all over the area. Plymouth, Canton, Livonia, Ann Arbor, and they are businesses that have partnered with us in order to make the experience for the students more meaningful. We have developed a mentorship program where our juniors um, are able to go out into the community and they are mentored by various, by various engineers um, and people in biomedicine. This is done on a weekly basis or sometimes in the summer. They also may research, perform research at U of M Dearborn um, as part of the mentorship program. This then leads into a possible, um, another partnership as an internship. Some of our students are going out to Visteon NSF International and Yazaki and having a paid internship as seniors um, throughout the summer after they graduate, heading off into their graduation year. Um, Another partnership that we have is we host a STEM CTE career fair. And with that, we over the years, it's, it's grown. So we started with 35 speakers. Um, and now, last year, we were at 56 speakers with over 1,000 students in attendance after school. All of our speakers are from everywhere. Some of them are part of our partnership team. Some of them are new members that would like to be part of our partnership team. And basically it's for students to get out and they listen to four speakers of their choice and they get to hear what, um, what employees are doing on a daily basis in their job and the students can ask questions of what was the education like, what are they 
currently doing on their job, what are the difficulties, what are the benefits. And so the kids are able to explore really throughout the four years, 16 different careers um, personally and, and get to know those careers on a, on a different level as well as the mentorship and internship. Another highlight that we have um, is we are, we are supported really well with Bosch and so um, Bosch has provided a lot of opportunities for students in that we have 21st century equipment that are, that's within all of the classes. And so a lot of the work that the students um, are working on is, is at a level that they would at the college level. So there are students who come back who've gone through the STEM program and they'll, they'll talk to some of the teachers and they'll tell the teachers, you know, we learned all of this, all of these tools and techniques in high school. And there's, there are my peers in college who are just starting to learn this. So I think that's a, a highlight because the, the students are um, above everybody else in, in their college level. Another highlight I would say is that we are very involved with getting out through K-12. We're very involved with elementary level. So with the STEM days, we've created STEM days, which means I take 24 students out to the elementary schools and they perform engineering and biomedical demos or labs to the, to the elementary kids. Um, did you wanna say anything on yeah, that? Yeah, it's a great opportunity. Um, the, the kids have a great time. It's good for both sides of it. Uh, STEM students get that opportunity to share the knowledge and understanding that they're learning currently in class and modeling that for the elementary kids. And it also gets the elementary kids the opportunity to see things that t they typically wouldn't see till much later. So we're hoping that it encourages them to consider STEM as a pathway for them as they move up and into middle school where we have more STEM programming that they can select from. Um, we also, in addition to that, we have partnered with the Plymouth District Library and so once a month, our STEM students create a lesson. Um, they work with the librarian over at the library and they discuss, they lay out, what are some um, new and interesting topics that they can address towards our younger kids. And so K through third grade, we run those programs in the summertime where students kind of run a summer camp at the library that has a theme and it's all STEM linked. It's, it's something that the students have learned here at the park and we take it to a level where the students can understand it um, kindergarten through third grade. We also host a fourth through eighth grade which is throughout the year um, and it's kind of the same concept where the students are going there um, addressing some neat topic and really um, having one-on-one -on -one interactions and, and getting the students within our um, community really excited about STEM and what STEM is all about.